It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live tonight from BCTV's brand new renovated studio. Uh, we've got uh, a couple great things on deck I'm excited for. We'll talk about new evidence in the Route 30 accident. Uh, drugs uh, a key again in one of those smart cards in Brattleboro. They say parking will never be the same, and BCTV studio gets a big-time makeover. All that and more, and uh, as always, we... Uh, Give it our best shot to try and do it in 15 minutes. So as I queue up our very exciting new 545 Live intro, stick around here in 545 Live. Here we are for 545 Live down here on Route 30, just short of the highway overpass at the scene of a two-car head-on collision. Uh, no uh, information as to the extent of injuries or details further. We'll keep you posted as we get them. For 545 Live in Brattleboro News, Joe Bushy, Route 30. Well, at that point, uh, Joe Bushy did have uh, no news um, as we uh, tried to, to work our way through that accident. However, new news has been revealed as of late. Let's see if I can get the old uh, close-up here going. There it is. I know you'd like to uh, see that there. All right, here's the script from uh, our hard-working intern, Nolan Edgar, who's been looking through the news here today to make it look like I can reel all this stuff uh, off the top of my head. Let's see what we got. New information has been revealed concerning the head-on collision that closed Route 30 for almost six hours last month. Brattleboro Police Sergeant Mark Kerrigan uh, informed the Brattleboro Reformer uh, over the weekend that two morphine pills and eight Xanax pills were found in the vehicle believed to have caused the accident. The driver of the vehicle, Dustin uh, W. Uh, from North Putney was allegedly found under the influence after a roadside sobriety test at the site of the accident uh, was uh, performed. North was driving toward Brattleboro when his vehicle struck the front of another motor vehicle driven by Richard W. Kenyon. Kenyon and his passenger Joseph W. Shagnon. Apparently there's a lot of W's in the middle name here. Both of Brattleboro were being hospitalized after being freed from their vehicle by the jaws of life. North's passenger Joel uh, Milikowski uh, was also hospitalized. Police say that the accident is still under investigation. All right, uh, and uh, in addition, uh, with morphine pills found at the scene of that crime, uh, it feeds into an ongoing story in Vermont which leads the nation in uh, opiate abuse, or so says Governor Shumlin, who uh, I'm gonna wave my co-captain Joe Bushy in, but he, uh, he's not ready to come in apparently. Uh, Shumlin, he's been talking about uh, opiate addiction and how uh, it, the epidemic, he calls it, sweeping through Vermont, but um, he's looking for legislation uh, as we get dangerously close to the end of the session. Let's see if we can cue him up here. Take a look at that clip here on 545 Live. If we lose this battle, more Vermonters die. We will see more break-ins to our homes, convenience stores, gas stations. We'll see our crime rates go up. We must find a way to solve this problem. This is one of many tools. It's imperative that this legislature get me a bill that will allow us to begin to make progress on this huge challenge facing Vermont. Someone speaking at a conference last week. Joe jumping into the seat. Welcome to the desk here, 545 Live. Hey. We've got some brand new uh, HD equipment here. Uh, yes, we do, don't we? I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Got our age-old $3 teleprompters here uh, to make way here. All right, uh, we're back again. There you go. We've back on the air. Quite the, quite the setup here that I'm particularly excited for. Um, maybe since uh, I've been doing a little chit-chat in here, Joe, I'll let you take uh, on the next story, which is going to start with that line that says, Parking, Parking will, will never, never be, be the, the same. same in Brattleboro. Executive Director of Building a Better Brattleboro, Andrea Livermore, talks about parking at the May Gallery Walk in front of the River Garden. Is that all we got? Well, Building a Better Brattleboro is trying to make... Parking more simple and less stressful for residents and visitors, along with the addition of smart cards, new and extensive parking information can be found online at Brattleboro's website, www.brattleboro.org, under the parking section. And parking volunteers, or excuse me, parking violators can now pay off their tickets there as well. You use it like a credit card. You basically um, load as much money onto it as you choose, and then you have it. You can use it in meters, you can use it in the pay towers, in the lots. And it takes away that, um, that planning issue of having enough change. 
fact, if you're watching uh, online, you can, I'll mention, watch it in HD as this entire studio is HD, which is why you can see every hair that's out of place, which is just about all of them every on both of them. our heads. Um, <laughs> So uh, if you're on YouTube, just be sure to, uh, right in the bottom corner, it'll be, uh, where it'll be? It'll be over here somewhere. Uh, you'll see a, a little box where you can uh, press your way uh, down to uh, 1080p, 720p, uh, and check this out in HD in all its glory, where we can also feed in some of these clips that are giving us so much trouble. All right, uh, well, moving on. Uh, I'll uh, take this next one, I suppose. Only fair that I would take the next one here. Alrighty. In 2010, the Travel Promotion Act was signed into law by President Obama. The Travel Promotion Act was created to support the power of travel to serve as a job generator, an economic stimulant, and diplomatic tool. The Travel Promotion Act will also market the United States as a travel destination for other countries. In Vermont, 11.5% of employment is tra uh, travel or tourism related, which is about 34,000 jobs. Vermonters cater to 13.7 million visitors a year. Year, and Vermont receives $1.4 billion in direct spending. With the Travel Promotion Act, Vermont will see an increase in employment, tourism, and a much-needed boost to its economy. Uh, that's the hope anyway, Joe. Down at the River Garden uh, earlier uh, was a little gathering of folks um, who've come together to try and get more tourism dollars into Brattleboro. We'll get a clip of that. We have 13.7 million visitors a year in Vermont. And um, for a population of 626,000, that's a lot of visitors. Joe, you were out there uh, for the, the inaugural outdoor West Bee Farmer's Market. It was uh, a great crowd and a great Tell us day. just a little bit about that um, before we get crowd. into the video. <laughs> great crowd, great day. Great crowd. There you go. Day. It was nice weather. Uh, there were a lot of people out there, and uh, there were a lot of things to be had. A lot of nice food, and uh, there was music, and there was a lot of uh, kids out there, and everyone was having a good time. Uh, that's going to be, I believe, 9 to 2 Saturdays throughout the summer, 10 to 2 uh, on Sunday for the Putney Co-op. They split those between the two days of the weekend, uh, or Putney Farmer's Market, I should say, which is across from the Putney Co-op in Putney. Uh, so for all mm -hmm. your Farmer's Market delight, uh, there will be plenty going through the, uh, the summer here. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, moving on. We have uh, some big plans, Joe, um, I want to say for all our... Um, live remote broadcasting, Skyping, uh, which we've got a new feed here as I lean forward to get on the computer. Um, we're also going to uh, high tech up our traffic report, but I, I want to see uh, just for fun if we can get uh, BCTV Executive Director Core Trowbridge oh, on the line hey, here on high -tech to Skype now. in. Hey. Core, how are you today? Can you see me? Oh, we can. Oh, uh, well, we can see you. Let's see if I can make it uh, and put it in such a light that our viewers can see go. it as well. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Put on the camera behind us. Let's. Uh, okay. I'm talking now. All hey, right. Guys. Let's uh, throw you up on the screen here, Cor. Um, let's be sure to see what we can get here. Um, well, you can see us. You can see her. Yeah, the the microphone's blocking her core. Thanks there you go. for uh, for checking in with us and uh, letting our viewers know out there just how excellent this new world of uh, webcasting, which can be done in HD. Um, we're going to be broadcasting from all across the streets of Brattleboro. Uh, so thanks for uh, joining us on 545 Live, demonstrating here just uh, just how much good stuff we've got going on. All right, Joe, uh, we got to move on here as we... Why uh, webcast? That was there good. There you go. Thanks, Cor. Cool. In the other room. Much Watch appreciated. Watch for more webcasts Did coming you... up soon. There we go. All right, uh, next, traffic. Do we want to do traffic? That's what's up on the screen behind us. We might as well launch into it a little bit, sure. Joe, as we, as we try and, traffic and wrap weather. up a, a Monday show here. Let's put this back on the screen for a second here. Very good. All right. Here's the, uh, the code as we rock our mini traffic report powered by Enrix and beat the traffic. Red, stand still traffic, orange, heavy volume but moving, and green uh, is, means you're good to go. So uh, people come in uh, making their uh, daily commute home, trying to get home to watch uh, 545 Live. If you're watching, phone uh, your spouse or partner as they try and drive home to let them know downtown high street to malfunction junction a critical area here in the red means standstill traffic putney road high street uh, and canal street all in the orange and then uh, 91 uh, looks like it's clear to go today joe so if you're coming from putney uh swing the roundabout out maybe to 91 and uh don't don't bother with that putney road downtown traffic 
uh, right at the moment. Unless right. you're shopping, of course. So, in which case, Wait, by all means. There, there you go. Get, yeah. Hit the streets. Get the hither to downtown. Right. So, all right. Well, uh, that's about all I can think of, Joe, for our inaugural HD show. Uh, well, that's that's really the the size of it, I would say. Well, we'll say but, our uh, hats off to all our tough mutters from this weekend, who all in, invaded the town of Brattleboro and Wyndham County area for the tough mutter up at Mount Snow. Uh, we had a lot of local participants in that, and uh, as far as I know, all of them survived. So, uh, 545 Live wants to salute you all. So, look forward to seeing you in July. Excellent. Uh, and I just want to throw out while we're uh, commending people, BCTV's crew, we just built a brand new studio. Uh, we're going to post a studio tour, which includes a brand new green screen we're hoping to make uh, awfully good use of. Uh, we've got uh, an all new set of cool sets, uh, including this one here with our giant HD TV countdown clocks, uh, movable windows behind us as we try and uh, get through this here show. We gotta relocate this baby. Yeah, that's true. Blocking this, our view of the screen. Like, there you but, go. Uh, we'll work it out. But uh, thanks to everyone from BCTV who helped put this uh, brand new mm. studio together. Anybody out there interested in producing uh, their own TV show, now is the time. We've put in a slew of new equipment that makes it easier than ever to use. Come in, uh, sit down, uh, kind of the way we're sitting here and produce your own show. So uh, we hope everybody out there uh, who thinks they Come have an idea down. has something to say. Get involved. Look, we can do it. You, you can go. too. 802-257-0888. You can email me, Roland at BrattleboroTV.org. I let your uh, opinions be heard and make use of uh, all this, all this great stuff we got littering the desk here in front of us, uh, making this a, a slick tastic 5:45 live. All right, Joe. Fantastic. Thanks for slipping in at the last minute to right spice on. up 5:45 live here. That's all I can think of to say. And so we'll get some live reports we, for the next show. That's right. Before we uh, blather on, that's right. Well. While we're here, let's plug Wednesday. We'll be back uh, Wednesday. We're going to get a live uh, report from downtown using this new fancy Skype thing that Cor was uh, so, so nice of her to demonstrate that for us. Uh, we'll get you all the latest highlights, uh, news, weather from the high school, and more. That'll be 5.45 p.m. right here on this Channel 8, BCTV. You can find it online later as well at brattlebrotv.org, where we have live streaming for both channels and video on demand for all local programming. That's my spiel, Joe. So I'll say for BCTV and 5.45 Live, thanks to Nolan Edgar, our hardworking intern who uh, slapped together this script for us because I was frantically pulling my hair out trying to get this uh, new set going to Vlasta Popelka who holds the glue together here for us, uh, BCTV operations manager to our content specialist Paige Martin, Ian Keel and Marie Dominguez all of whom uh, helped put together that slick new 545 Live intro uh, it's been great working with you and we hope to work with you more in the future to thanks to you viewers as well for checking in with us again after our hiatus we sure appreciate it all right, that's enough talking, Joe. You can feel my mouth getting dry. Uh, for BCTV <clears throat> and 545 Live, thanks for watching, everybody. And for out.